Welcome compadres. Today we're going to look at determining how much of the load is actually carried by the fastener using the frustrum method. So in the previous video we looked at the ultimate load case where we basically just set a fastener in the hole and said okay without being torqued if it were to take all the load could it survive? And it checked all the boxes in this case. So now we go in and we refine our model now. As a designer we go at our elements that we need so for example, now that we know that number two fastener can handle the ultimate load case, we've added a washer and then also a helicoil down here and we've actually added the correct fastener in its place. So now let's use our calculator that we developed in a previous video to determine how much of the load, the axial load is actually carried by the fastener if this thing uh, were to be torqued down. So if we go into our calculator here for the frustum method, we have some inputs. We have the nominal bolt diameter, we have the Young's modulus for the fastener, the length of the threaded portion, the length of the unthreaded portion, threads per inch, and then since we have a helicoil in there, we have a multiplier that basically multiplies the uh, specifies the length of the helicoil so we usually specify the length of helicoils based on the diameter so it can be a one diameter length one and a half diameter length two diameter length those are pretty standard helicoil lengths they, they're just a multiplier of the diameter in this case 086 of our fastener so this is a 1.5 D helicoil and then we also have uh, our joint member stiffness parameters shown here which we've talked about this in the past so if we go into our model we'll basically be able to pick off that our the diameter of our fastener is a number two fastener so it's a 0 .086 the length of the threaded portion here we'd have to look at that if we look at this um, we zoom in basically it doesn't have a unthreaded portion so the length of the threaded portion is actually the length of the entire screw so what I would do in this case is I would measure that So the length of the threaded portion is 0.375 inches. I've already included that value in the spreadsheet as shown here. The length of the unthreaded portion is 0 inches and this is 56 threads per inch. And then we put in our screw head diameter. In this case our screw head diameter is going to be 0 0.140 so I'd have to change that 0 0.140 the washer's thickness the washer's thickness is 0 0.036 inches and then the top flange thickness is 0 0.2 as we've looked at previously and then these are the and these are the material properties for the washer's young modulus and then our frustrum angle is 30 degrees so we put in all these parameters and it goes through and calculates our bolt stiffness our member stiffness and then it spits out how much of the tensile load is carried by the fastener which is 26.1 percent so we'd carry this number forward in the next part of our analysis where we will evaluate joint slip and joint separation so I hope this made sense, and I'll see you next time. Adios.